Hey everybody, Newbie Ham Radio here. Finally, the long-awaited video on when I'm running for a hotspot at my house. Um, as you've seen in my last video, I'm kind of heavily involved in DMR. Um, and not that close to any repeaters. Um, if I go outside, I can connect to uh, Hillsboro. Um, but if not, if I'm inside the house, I have to run a hotspot. What I'm running here is a Raspberry Pi 3 with a single band DB Mega Board. I actually got the DB Mega Board originally because I was running a blue stack. I really didn't like having to run another app um, to have my hotspot to work. Worked fine. Um, just wasn't the best for me. So I switched to this. Um, I run Pi Star on here which runs Willy Wells which I'll show you in the video after we look at the board but um let's do a shutdown and we'll look at all the parts all right so the first part is a raspberry pi 3 board these things are like 35 40 bucks you can get them on adafruit.com just about anywhere a lot of the radio vendors sell them now um but it works really well it's basically a little linux computer um it runs a Linux distro called Raspbian based on Debian but it's basically I think this one's one gig now um, but basically for small form computer processing um, runs off an SD card you see I got a 16 gig installed um, it's got HDMI output um, audio output, network, four, USB, and then your GPIO pins, um, and power. It uses a micro SD to power it. The thing to remember is, you know, it's got to fit on the SD card, and especially if you're running PyStar, you don't use this. For your control board you can only use it if you only need to use this if you want to hook it up to a screen to update upgrade which all of that you can do in Postar now so you really don't ever use it basically if you just want to run look at the uh, command line interface for it next up is this single band DV mega board antenna output um, basically all your memories right there and I guess you'll probably ask the port of the wire if you don't know yet um, you're basically shorting out so that you can do upgrades while it is plugged into the Raspberry Pi 3 or your blue stack board um, you can now use to use an Adreno board to uh, update it um, but uh, basically I like this that way I can just update it straight from it and then of course you need an antenna this is just a little stubby you don't need anything major because remember you're running really low wattage here so how to plug this in basically this starts on pin 1 on the GPIO pins so start there and I missed there you go and then text your antenna and you're good to go no I don't have a fancy case for this I need to get one 3d printed I've just been lazy and haven't done anything with it so once it powers up You get your lights, let it finish booting up. And when you download PyStar, it's actually a already set up um, image with all of the items from PyStar in it. So if you're not familiar with setting up Linux or 
a Raspberry Pi 3, it actually really makes it pretty easy. My other hotspot that I use mobile is a zone spot board running on a Pi Zero, which if you haven't seen a Pi Zero, it's basically half this. Um, and it's just the board fits right on top of it. So I have mine running wireless. Um, so that's why it works with no network cable. The wireless setup is a little finicky, um, but I'll run through that when we uh, run on setting it up. All right, let's switch over to the computer screen and we'll roll on. Um, so then you'll want to download PyStar. PyStar is a built for Raspberry Pi. It'll work on a Raspberry Pi or the Pi Zero, which is the other one I have. And if you're interested in the Zoom Spot board, I think DX Engineering will sell them at one point. There's also the Chinese version called Jumbo Spot, which people have had pretty good luck with, but also some issues. So, um, you know, so you have to look around for them. But this is PyStar, PyStar.uk. You go to the website, and you can go to Downloads, Download PyStar, you download the image. Then you have to use a um, Flash program to flash the image. You have to be able to flash an image onto the SD card. Which with Windows, you can use Windows 32 Disk Imager. It's pretty straightforward. Um, I've done it on Mac, but it's been a while. Um, so I'll leave a link down below in the comments on how to do it on a Mac or to where instructions for it. So you want to download, you want to flash it. When I was talking earlier about the Wi-Fi build, the Wi-Fi part's a little weird. So I have determined in all of my testing that it really doesn't, I don't know if it's the Raspberry Pi or if it's PyStar, really doesn't like SSIDs, the name of your wireless network, with spaces in it. I know especially if you wanted to use your iPhone as the network connection for your device. It really doesn't like SSIDs with spaces in it. So when you create it, um, you know, just just make sure your SSID doesn't have a space in it. You know, I know that probably sucks, and it means repointing all your devices back to a new SSID or to a new network, but. It runs better with that. At least on my iPhone it did. Um, which strangely this device is connected. The Raspberry Pi I was showing you. is connected to my home internet. Which does have a space. So it's kind of weird. But basically what this Wi-Fi builder right here does. You create this file that it uses to connect to a wireless network. So what you do here is just... Put in the name of your SSID, your password, click submit, and a file downloads, which you probably don't see because of my screen record. Take that file, once you flash the image on your SD card, or your mini SD card for your um, Raspberry Pi, put that file over it, that way when it boots up, It'll see the file and it'll automatically connect to your Wi-Fi wireless network. Um, if you have any trouble with it, there's multiple there's multiple videos um, out there um, to help you through it, uh, or you can always just plug it into Hardline network cable. So. That's all that. Check it out. There's a, their help files and their wiki is pretty awesome. So definitely check it out. But this is the basically what you see. This is the dashboard for PyStar once you get it. And as you can see, it is for me. Um, you have to uh, basically put your... Uh, originally, I thought it was DMR ID. But it's actually CCS7 ID. Um, so basically, since I've got two hotspots... They basically have two different numbers so that they show up correctly on 
Brandmeister on self care because if they have the same number, um, you can cause some issues, especially if you're running one mobile and running one at your home and you drive up to your house and your radio is trying to connect to both hotspots, you get, they call it ping pong and it's basically just going back and forth. Um, I actually went a step further and I've actually got two different frequencies for my hotspots um, and have two different banks um, of talk groups, which is probably double work, but it works best for me. So I am only running DMR, so that is all I have enabled on here. I don't have a D-Star, I don't have a Fusion, um, I don't have a P25, and I don't have a, an XDN. So, that's all I'm running. Really, I don't know that you would want to run mobile, multiple. You can, but the problem is if your D-Star and DMR is on, if your D-Star starts talking, you're not going to hear anything that's going on with DMR, vice versa. Um, so it might be tough if you started getting an QSO and it was bouncing back and forth. You would probably miss a lot of the information. So when you first get it, you start on the configuration page. You have to set up all your information. Simplex mode, switch will basically move that. Unless you're building a repeater, then you need duplex repeater. I don't have a repeater. Which modes you want to enable. Um, and you can connect connection screens and other type of screens to it. As you can see, I don't have one. I think they're cool. I would like to have one, but most of the time I'm walking around the house with the radio anyway, so I'm not sitting there looking at the screen. So it is what it is hosting you can change it and basically if you change this it's what it will show up what you would type up here so if you just type pi star this comes up you may have to type dot local um, but that brings your dashboard up so on mine I left this one pi star my zoom spot board I actually have a zoom spot so when I'm mobile on my phone I type in zoom spot and it brings the screen up your call sign, your CCS7. If you just have one, you can just put your DMR ID, but if you have multiple, you want to do this. Set a radio frequency. Set your uh, coordinates. That way it knows where you're at on the self-care page so it can show where your repeater is. Um, basically all the information. This information just shows up on uh, Brandmeister. That's what it shows. Pick a... You actually have to turn DMR on, um, but then it'll allow you to set a DMR master to set to what your color code is. This is important. You do have to do color code. Um, and because I'm running simplex, it's only time slot two. So if you're running simplex, you want to remember to program all your stuff for time slot two. Um, that's pretty much it. You can do DMR gateway. I don't use it a lot. I just use Brandmeister. Um, so that is what it is. that is what it is. And once you do that, you get your dashboard. There are a couple other things you can do. There's an admin screen, which basically this is awesome right here. This is a new update. I will say make sure you keep up with the Pi Star updates because they add a ton of new features, new information, all that. If you look this kind of looks like Brandmeister repeater self care. That is because there is now API where you can connect to it. So make sure you stay up to date. Um, you can actually update screen. It takes you there. It'll update it. Which I'm already up to date. So it's going to say nope, 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 nope dot nope nope dot com nope dot com already up to date done sleeps for a second finished let's go back to dashboard let's go back to admin so as you can see DMR DMR 
I got the green light for the internet. Time slot 2 is enabled. Now I'm connected to Brandmeister United States 3108. Seems to be the most stable one for me. Um, so, that's that. We'll go back to configuration one more time. And then expert. This is a big old warning. If you're not sure about any of this, don't do this. Um, it'll basically, uh, you can mess your system up. So make sure you really know what you're doing. But this is where you can set, edit all your different types of digital you can use. Um, so your Wi-Fi configs here. Your uh, Brandmeister API key it was here. You can do SSH. Hostile remote. I would go ahead and recommend go ahead and program talk groups private call call groups into your radio with all of these because this way you don't have to get up if you're lazy you don't have to get up and unplug the board or reboot the board or go ahead and reboot it you can do it just with a um, push talk press radio, which is pretty awesome so you have to enable it um, I don't have it enabled on this one I guess I could change that to true that way I can program use all these um, as you can see it's got them for each version um, so that's that alright so basically to connect to a talk group so I've already got my radio programmed to use this hotspot uh, pick which talk group I want to key up on press transmit and there you go it shows I am now connect connected to talk group 3137 which is uh, North Carolina statewide and now if anybody transmits on this I will hear them but it will also show up in the gateway activity that they are transmitting on 3137 so like I said it's 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 fairly easy to use once you get your this set up for DMR or DSTAR or whatever you want to do and you have your radio program correctly main thing to remember is make sure your color code matches what you set in your configuration and make sure all your talk groups are programmed for time slot 2 um, and that's pretty much it so and no matter what you're using whether it's a DB Mega like I have or the Zum spot board or the jumbo spot board um, as long as you're using Pi Star, this will look exactly the same um, so that's it if you have any questions ask below and don't forget to subscribe thanks